Hey everyone, so I had an idea. So I have a nephew who doesn't have the most common name um, that you can find on like the general things you can buy for kids that have kids names on them like a keychain or whatever. So my thing was this. The closest I could get was Lucas. So I was like, you know what? I'll just buy it. And my initial thought was, I'll cut a piece of vinyl and I'll just cover that spot. And then I was like, well, what if, and this is what I did. So I put painter's tape along either side. So I got that nice, clean, crisp edge. I had to do two or three coats, I think. And I was drying in between with this. Um, and, you know, it's kind of got a little bit of a texture, but it's going to be on the back of a bike, so... I'm not that concerned about it. If you prefer, you could do the vinyl instead. Um, I just thought it would be easier to do paint. And then I could cut his name out with my joy here. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle. So, um, I measured this and it came to be, I think, four inches this way by one and a half this way. So then I measured this to be three and a half by one. And the this was the close font that I could find. I kind of forgot what it looked like after I painted over it. But I thought that that would work pretty good. It looks pretty close to this. It is called um, Lucida Fax, which comes with most computers. Or at least the Microsoft Windows computers. Um... I don't know about Apple, I've never really used Apple products, but this was what I used and I really like it, so I'm just going to go ahead, I've already gotten this already, so I can just peel this right off and pull, actually, just center it to the best that I can. It looks pretty straight, I think. I think that looks pretty good. So let me just use my little scraper. And this was just a scrap piece of transfer paper I had. So it's not quite big enough, but it's okay. It still works. But I think I already used it a couple times because there's some stuff stuck to it. So I think we're going to call this one done. Uh, it's not sticking to the paint. Okay, well that's, that's good to know, right? So maybe you want to go with the vinyl instead. Oh, no, it's fine. Look at that. Well, it's not perfect, but that's homemade, right? <laughs> so, that is a neat little idea you can do if you have a little one around that has a name that doesn't come on stuff like keychains. I mean, you could probably do, like, if you're into the more advanced stuff with resin and whatever, you could um, maybe do, like, a necklace. Although you could probably just do the whole thing by yourself at that point. Um, what else comes with names? I, I'm drawing a total blank right now. All I can think of is this and, and keychains. I know there's stuffed animals, but that you can't really change. You'd have to just get a blank one and make your own little iron-on thing. But anyway, this was just a quick, easy thing that I wanted to share. And um, also, I want to mention I will have an update shortly on my last video about the sublimation t-shirt that I was working on had a little uh, difficulties so I will be 
uploading something about that shortly. But let me know what you think of this and if you have any other ideas of how to do it. And also, I was just thinking too, you could um, take a clear coat and just spray over the top of it to kind of protect it a little bit. But, I mean, it's going on a kid's bike. It, you know, I don't think it, it needs to be perfect because it's just going to be on the back and it'll be out in the elements so not too big of a deal in my opinion but yeah let me know if you have any other thoughts or suggestions and I'm going to just try to keep sharing different ideas like this that I have thanks for watching